West Virginia uh, in the Appalachian region is kind of ground zero for the opioid epidemic. And this whole initiative is set up to address the intersection between IV drug use through the opioid epidemic and transmission of hepatitis C. Hep Connect has three main um, pieces to the initiative. The first is to expand screening and linkage to care. So estimates from the CDC would range from 20 to 25,000 people in West Virginia are um, living with hepatitis C, and, and most of them do not know, Gary. The second thing we want to do is support harm reduction um, and community education um, with local stakeholders. Um, there has to be so much education, there's so much stigma for people who are dealing with IV drug use, and also stigma for families who love people who are dealing with that. So we, we have to address it. Because of the large proportion of people who are um, living with hepatitis C and do not know, uh, we have to activate the healthcare infrastructure so once we identify people, they can get the support that they need. Um, people can get information about this initiative on hepconnect.com. Um, we are excited about the launch. We're excited about partnering with the community. Um, and this is impacting so many people, our neighbors, um, our family members, and people are suffering in silence. And we want to bring some uh, dignity and some support to make a difference so people can live well.